Yo. Oh, yeah. Hello, my good boys. <laughs> we here. <laughs> we are the Braves. Break it up, break it up. Episode 72 of the ITC podcast, safety, ladies and no, gentlemen. You know. Yeah, nah, for sure. But, uh, man, we got a lot. A lot. Like every week. Yeah. Pretty much. Day every day goes by, there is not, never no non day where there's some if. Never know nine day. On. Never know nine. That day. man started making up words yeah. over there. Yeah. Never know nine. <laughs> it ain't never know nine day for anything. I will <laughs> say. Goes by. I will say happy fourth. Happy fourth. Uh, May the fourth, fourth be with you, people. May the fourth, y'all throw him up. You know Remember, it's the fourth quarter, quarter, baby. It's the fourth so quarter. On the fourth right. day, he wrote the fourth chapter of the fourth book with all four of us. Yes. yes. <laughs> it is the fourth. Uh, I got my. I'm your father shirt. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make this a holiday, bro. This needs to be a national holiday. Um, Definitely. But, yeah, Ross, what do you want to start, man? How you feeling today, man? Good. I'm feeling attacked like old dude that attacked uh, Dave oh, Chappelle. No. I'm feeling I'm feeling like <laughs> that, man. Just I a heard, whole bunch of four comments segue, stomping me out, man. Yeah. I heard he got stomped by four people. It was way more than four people. <laughs> it, had <laughs> like, it had to be at least four. At least four. <laughs> four. They got four stomps apiece. It seemed like 40, <laughs> goddamn. And they messed, up, they messed up his forearm. <laughs> they messed up more <laughs> than that, man. God. Oh, Duh, that, <laughs> the forearm turned forearm. forward. <laughs> this, hey man, I don't know what provoked this dude. Uh, apparently, we just found out. Uh, uh, I don't know the guy name. I ain't about to give him intention like that. But yeah. we apparently just found out a few years prior he made a track uh, talking about Dave Chappelle. Was it four I, years? No, it wasn't four. I think it was like two or something like that. Yeah. Anywho, anywho, he made a track. It's on Spotify. And people are finding out because the internet does the research. Yeah. Of course. Um, no, but he, just on streams. he uh he recently yeah. uh, uh just out of nowhere, unprovoked, hopped on the stage and right. decided to tackle Dave Chappelle. But it didn't end well. Why was this okay? Why did he think this was that boy got okay? don't this hit make my people wanna jump? jump. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he he got the beats. Like uh-huh. legit, yeah. we're not talking about Man. the beats by Dre. He got the beats. <laughs> that bro. boy got stumped to oblivion. Yeah. And apparently, <laughs> uh, he That's had a, a a deadly weapon on him. It was like a, it was a, oh God, it was, bro. it was like a. I don't know if it was like. I want to know where he got it from. Was it like Amazon? I don't know. It was like <laughs> it a sounds gun like shape. Probably on Amazon. <laughs> it does. It was like a a blade. It was like a a, a replica handgun, but it had a blade inside of it. Mm. But either way. Even if it's a replica or a like, blade. why did you have that on you, bro? That's dangerous. Bro. Why just, did you do this in general? Like, why? That's like, dangerous, man. I was the one that started. I'm like, bro, make why that make are sense. They constantly coming at Dave Chappelle, and now they're trying to physically attack him now. I don't, I don't like, get it. It's, it's one of those things where it's confusing. But right. what's not confusing is getting your shit snapped up. And his yeah. arm was sitting forward, and it shouldn't have been yeah, sitting forward. He was got lumps on his eyes. Everybody booing him. They had to call the EMTs. For him, for him, mm-hmm. and this is one and of those the show things. went on. I guess. Yep, like it's one of those things where it's like, yo, man, hey, we we can whatever issues you have with people, <clears throat> don't come to they they profession their job and thinking no. stuff gonna be sweet. Like I don't know what he thought the outcome. was All I be. know was he had the the uh, the head start, the advantage, and he had the worst form tackle ever, bro. Mm. That boy basically got stiff on by Dave Chappelle, and okay. then. Ran away and got stomped out afterwards. Like yeah. that's the made the biggest L in like. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. It's like you, you just graze. And I'm proud you got that L. You deserved it. Oh no, he <laughs> definitely deserves to get Dangerous stomped out, out here, man. I don't know what. It's 4:44 right now. That's crazy. Wow. Um, it is 4:44. Wow. I don't even know. That. <laughs> that's that's not even. That, ain't even that right wasn't even on up. purpose. Yeah. Make a wish. Yeah, Yo. My skin is black. That has to mean something, Ross. <laughs> it's just the time of the day. That's that's all it is. But uh, four yeah. nigga, four nigga. But nah, bro, it's it's dangerous out yeah. here, man. And people nowadays, I don't know what they thinking, bro. You just taking your aggression out on somebody. If I don't like something, bro, I'm just <laughs> not gonna go. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna yeah. subscribe. I'm not gonna follow. Yeah, we're in a day and age where if you don't like something, you really got to let it be known that you don't like it, and you want them to see that. You well, that's how people feel. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, like you can oh. easily just click that block. But yep. people got to unfollow. You got to voice the fact that you don't like something, and it's like, no, you got to know, you got to see that you. I don't like this, and it's just like, bro, come on, bro. If you don't like some, bro, unfollow the person. It's you weird. Subscribe. You know, like you don't have to. You don't have to see it. You don't have to buy a ticket to a show. Nope. If you don't like somebody. 
Yeah, and not at all. You don't have to attack them on stage, <laughs> right? And now you you now you in jail, or I think he's on like thirty thousand dollar bail in jail. If not at the hospital first, hand, tied to a handcuff, M- messed up, arm jacked up. I don't probably definitely some internal bleeding of sorts because. It look like, bro, when you get stomped out by that many people with designer shoes, it's raps, bro. You, you if they stump you out, right if now. they stump you out right. to the point where your arm is turning right. the opposite direction, bro, yeah. bro, they they beat the brakes, and it wasn't even on no. All right, we got them subdued. <clears throat> nah, they kept going. It, oh, this yeah. was this is one of those they things. Had, they want to make an example. They of you. made an example of you, and this for anybody out there that <laughs> think that sh- that shit cool. You hop on anybody's stage. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they got their entourage, security, yep. all this other stuff. There's a liable chance you will get hurt. Bro. I just want to understand how he got a replica handgun in there anyways. I don't that, like that's the I thing too. Security. Yeah, yeah that's that's bad on security <laughs> part. Or maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. We we'll, we'll probably get some more details on it. Just like we found out he made a track a few years prior to to yeah. this. So this is like I don't know if he's been planning. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get you, Dave. Gotcha. You ain't gonna hit him with that? Like what, what? this boy been waiting patiently. He been waiting. <laughs> You're jealous, Dave. <laughs> He's been waiting patiently. Mark my words. Mark my words. <laughs> now he's in the hospital. Present day. Uh, uh, this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Mommy. Mama oh, hair. Hey man. Yeah. Y'all stupid, just stupid games equals stupid prizes. Yeah. Right. Um, every time. Every, every refunds, single time. Baby. Yeah, every yeah, single time, no bro. Now you publicly known. But not only trying to attack arguably one of the greatest comedians. Well, is he publicly known? Because he got beat up pretty bad. You might not even recognize his face properly. <laughs> well, they know his name, so they got now his name. Nice two of y'all. You oh, you the twin. dude. <laughs> you and your twin, then. Dude. Your the, face the, looks the so. after you. <laughs> your face looks so different. But just know that you are officially will forever be known as a meme now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. Then, Mission maybe, accomplished. Maybe that's what he was trying yeah. to get. Maybe knows, that's a that's a co- that's a new commercial for all these designer shoes now. <clears throat> yep. Mm-hmm. Stomp out your opposition <laughs> in style. Stomp out the opposers. Stomp your ops. Hey, the they coming up with a concept right now. <laughs> Stomp out your ops. Yeezys. Get a closure, Stomp your ops. Get a closure. Get a closure. <laughs> the Met Gala, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. A couple huh? days. <laughs> Our, our our suits come with a uh, concealed weaponry. <laughs> yes, a For night the unknown stick. Man. Yes. <laughs> a night stick. <laughs> Not the night right. stick. Not the <laughs> daredevil hit <head> ass. <laughs> <laughs> so hey man, don't like, and I hope don't on nobody, I hope uh, people uh, <laughs> don't, don't don't really follow in his footsteps because as you see. That may be the end result or worse. <clears throat> because at the end of the day, it's their job to protect whoever's on that stage. That's that's what they pay security for. Heck yeah. And it's just, you know, I believe Buster <clears throat> Rhymes was involved in it and, too. And that's a big old and, dude to be man, stumping on and, you. Bro. Uh, and people that's <laughs> and cool Jamie with Fox, him. bro. That's yeah, cool. like <laughs> Oh, Jamie Foxx was stumping? Too? Yeah, like yeah. if you that's Stomp. like that's like we huh. do a show. Did Chris Rock join in? I don't know if he did. <laughs> I don't know if he joined in, yeah, but he had something Steve. to say though. Yeah, Steve he didn't have something bro. to say. Steve but <laughs> But just wanted he to said that Chris Rock joined in. Nah. I mean, he had a comment yeah, to say maybe he was stomping too. So I had uh, to um, <clears throat> get the charging. Oh yeah, man, can't be having the stuff doc. Get to the charging. What happened? <laughs> we don't need a dead <laughs> computer. <laughs> but I was saying, say we do like a live show, live event, mm-hmm. and then somebody just out there. You know, running up on stage, we don't know what their intentions well, are. You know what I'm saying? I'm your biggest and, fan. Just don't. And <laughs> you know, we got friends. Of course, we have security with us, but we'll have like our people to show support. Guess what? They gonna join in they, on they, the yeah. stomping process. Plus, why it's, does not play? Nah, it's it's not even. But you know, um, I'm gonna be joining in just as well. Like yeah, like anybody oh, try yeah, to attack one of us? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, yeah. Like we don't we don't play that. We're and peaceful people though, but I uh, you people. know we, we bring. With my peace? Oh, no, that's that's, that's the thing. Like Shit. as peaceful as I am, you just gotta just leave me alone. Let mm-hmm. me be. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what a person. Let me live what a person my might life. Be going through. You never know what <laughs> they might know, be going through. Look, one of my favorite L- 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 <laughs> Mm-hmm. See, I'm telling you, <laughs> just gotta let me live my life, man. But yeah, nah, you know, it's just one of the things, bro. Like, yeah, I couldn't see myself in that situation. I mean, you never know, bro. It's yeah, always somebody with a crazy intention for you. Mm-hmm. Um, people walk up to me now, like, not even, you know, and it's just you don't think mm-hmm. that somebody trying to attack you, but you just, yeah. you know, like, as a celebrity, you, you think everybody cool with you. Just, That's what I'll be saying, like. 
the the whole like situation like maybe not to bring it up but like six nine and stuff like that like mm-hmm. it's, it's hard to be in situations like that because you never know who who's the per you don't know what the person that look like that's coming to get you exactly he recently exactly. just got punched at a nightclub yep. after the whole little dirt situation oh really dirt really? yeah somebody yeah. it was it was somebody he was in a nightclub in Miami <laughs> he was walking out and somebody waited and they socked him right when he was walking out socked him right in the back of his head. Whoa. And that's just one of those things where it's like, Woo! once again, you don't know who. What was his know. entourage? Well, he had security with him, so of course I'm the video cut off. But I'm sure. I'm sure he probably, got stumped out. Yeah, maybe got stumped. I'm bro, a nigga, sure. a nigga can play like a fan and then still off on you. Yeah, um, yeah, facts, bro. That's, and and it's that's one of the dangerous things, things about it. It's it's one of those things <laughs> where it's like you know we gotta everybody gotta just you know kind of be chill on certain situations like Dub was saying if you're not a big fan of somebody don't go to their shows don't watch them if you don't agree with their opinions you ain't got to don't you know don't Don't ruin your life because you don't like it what did Dave Chappelle do to provoke you to do something stupid like that. Dave That's Chappelle has done a, a lot of things that can provoke a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Right. Let <laughs> me rephrase that. I was like, about to say, uh, Dave Chappelle is known for that. But I'm like, bro, like. But it's only his words, though. Yeah, it's and it's words. just words. What, like, what physically has he done? What, what cult Exactly. He, what cult has he united to go after, you know, any people of any. If anything, exactly. Sex, race, gender. You know, the man is just trying to make you laugh at the end of the day. I think people are just mad because he can't be stopped. Obviously. You just like, mad because you can't be canceled. Y'all tried to cancel him, and he pretty much Netflix just extended his deals. Yep. Like, Netflix yeah. needs something because them niggas just going under. Like, <laughs> hey, Dave, we'll give you a hundred million. Yep. Hey, right, go. <laughs> oh, that's wait, why wait, they. Oh, that's, how much we gonna revenue? Boy, got that football uh, contract. That's yeah. why they went up on the goddamn price. Yeah. They they need busted. something. They, oh, and you know this would yeah. definitely be in one of his future skits, oh, like, yeah. comedy uh, skits, like sketches, bro. Oh, yeah. bro, I, I can't wait. Oh <laughs> Cause, man, because you already you know that material. shit is going to be hilarious. Just Absolutely. watching, <laughs> watching him stiff arm somebody, then they run away to see, proceed to see his homies just stomping him out. With, bro, I'd be smiling. Like I would. I'd be like, mm-hmm. bro, I got a real good team, but. <laughs> I got real friends. Stop that. As, as you hear some, oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> you know what I'm that's all you hear in the background my while you try to perform? My arm, bro, yeah, my yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, my arm. Like, my leg. <laughs> it sounds like, um, it sound like the Honey Game video we Oh, got. yeah, years ago. Yeah, Honey Game. Honey Game. Yep. Honey game. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> let him get up. Let him get up. That that definitely would be a proud moment. But like, I got a good friends. I got a good team. My security doing it. Jamie Foxx out there beating his ass. Yep. Buster Rhymes giving him the beats. I'm good, tear bro. just slides well, down I, his face. I, yep. I just tear, bro. <laughs> tear of just and we, we one of those protected. people we you don't we don't condone uh, condone uh, violence. But man. at the end of the day, Only like right a situation like that, situation you know, like that, you yep. gotta. You got to appreciate gotta the do. people around you oh, yeah. and understand that, hey, they got my back. Thanks. Now that I'm seeing them jump the shit out of this man, yeah. I appreciate it. And that's one of those things <laughs> is is you you want to have those type of friends around you. You Take do. Care. Like the friends that is like, hey, bro, we may be outnumbered, but you know what I'm saying? If it's a situation, I got your back. You don't want those friends. Hey, I got your back. I'm all the way back here, bro. Mm. You mm. No, you don't want that friend. <laughs> you, you oh, you said What? <laughs> What? Oh, you need help? You, 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 good, you, good. you need help? I think you oh, all right. I, know you I think right you now. all right. I ain't know you meant right now, right now, bro. I ain't know this is like the second. Hold this... on, I'm on the phone with police. Yeah, hey, bro. Yeah, they saying what? What's the address over here, bro? I, I... They should be in about ten minutes. You'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> I just dropped them location, bro. You don't even got to worry about answering. My that. blood sugar low. Hold on, bro. I need. <laughs> start coming up with excuses. We all got the homies that, that ain't they ain't about the life. Man. Trust me, we didn't we didn't all been there. My inhaler, bro. I left it in the club. My inhaler. I just came to eat, y'all. Why y'all want that dumb shit, man? <clears throat> bro, I just got these street tacos. Come man, on, bro. I ordered my food. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, I'm about to say, that shit do be hurting. You know, getting your food, then having to help somebody fight. That's that's frustrating. <laughs> okay, I understand that. That's some frustrating it's shit. It's just, true. You be like, like fuck. <laughs> hey, take a couple bites. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I go, who, who? Yo, let's go. Hold on, man. <laughs> that's 
That's Let me go help this do. nigga. God bro, damn it. Biting and swinging. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, oh, run with the home. Home, bro. Bro, I had a, I'm about to say, I had a homeboy yeah, with, yeah, with a plate in his hand. I fighting. had my food in my left yeah. hand and the other one swinging, bro. Yeah, bro. But, hey. Ah, ah. <laughs> then, then talk, don't be eating no fries. Mm. Uh, <laughs> nigga, why you making fries falling out? <laughs> You got to do what you got to do. Hey, hey, do what you want when you popping. Yeah, do what you want when you popping. So, hey, man, Dave, glad he's good. Yeah, glad man. that whole Thanks situation he already, man. Uh, life turned time. out better than expected. And uh, all you crazy fans out there, chill out, bro. Exactly, you, man. Oh, you may end up like Calm him. down. Yeah. And speaking of uh, Take fans, it easy. Yep. I wouldn't say this fan was crazy. Well, I don't even think he's a fan. More like a troll. Like, when it comes to trolling, I don't think he's a fan now. Yeah, I don't think he's a fan now. But when it comes to trolling, sometimes you may end up getting out trolled by the person you' trying to troll. That's it's, just it's what levels, it is. It's levels. It's to levels to the trolling. So, karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. So, it's the karma as well. But, uh, apparently, this is like this meme floating on Twitter where uh, they have uh, T. Morant, uh, John Morant's dad, is uh, approaching Lavar. Ball levels of annoyance. They got their pictures side by side, and you know, people have always said Levar Ball like he's is annoying. But yeah. I've always, and I think a lot of us, uh, we agree. I've always appreciate his passion for his sons they and worse. trying to put them in the best position possible, and always speaking to them, even if his comments right. are a little outlandish, because he, he can be a little wild. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it just, his delivery can, be, can, can can use some work, but well, I mean, yeah, you understand his I love. get it's coming from a genuine place. Because, yeah, so people are comparing him to that, which I think is really that's a far reach because all uh, all John Moran's dad does is support his son. Like, he sh- yeah. As a matter of fact, he shows up to every game, and then he just, just and he and he second. shows love to the community. So yeah, the dude like, is there you go. dude is a great dude. Reaching. You know, people just reaching. So y'all know how it is when it comes to sports, bro. Don't act like we ain't grew up with some crazy uncles mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. Sunday that was going nuts at each. If you, yeah, dominoes outside, you, yep. and you on, need bro. that. Come you on, need that. Bro. No matter what level of play you're at, whether it's you're trying to get to the professional people field, people play dumb like they don't. Or understand. yeah, like yeah. bro, that's just what it is. It's it's not. I don't think he's trying to take away and put attention on himself. The peep, obviously, the networks love to see him because mm-hmm. they see the support and the love, and and like Steve was saying, so you know the support he has and what he's doing in the community, but. Drake chimed in on the post. He was like, imagine your son makes the league and he's Ja or Melo or Lonzo. All you can do is be elated, competitive, and over-supportive. And it's, right, and it's a rite of passage to that. The OGs talk shit. I know I'm going to be... I know I'm going to be... Uh, what do you say? I know I'm going to be this way. Even if my son is like into like a Rubik's Cube competition. You know, he's going to support <laughs> his son. He's going to talk That's trash. That's, That's just what it is. Person. Yeah. So... Lie. A troll comes in, thought he was gonna be a little slick. He probably didn't think Drake was gonna respond, so he added him. He's like, he was like, your son probably played with Ghost Riders, so Drake went into. First of all, was it a good joke? It was a terrible joke. It wasn't. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. That's low hanging fruit. We've At least he tried. he tried. He tried, but tried, like man. I said, it's I an out of date joke, bro. That that shit happened with like six, seven years ago. Yeah, maybe lo- longer than that. It's it's one of those things like we nobody cares anymore, bro. At this point, it's, we get comments and people be saying slick stuff, and then when we respond, oh, I didn't know. That's that's really what it was. Oh so, no, I love you guys. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. So boys change up quick. Drake wasn't having it, you know. He he went into his petty mode. You're hitting, you're hitting so he point. added him back, and uh, he was like, "I just followed your girl. She's probably miserable and needs some mm. excitement in her life." Mm. So K-O. we they, they get screenshots. You know, the internet's quick. She, his wife, it's, it's not even his girl, it's his wife. His wife uh, reposted a screenshot. Oh, hey, Champagne Poppy, because she he followed the her. The fact that she even acknowledged, like, and right. then she oh. posted on her story, My husband uh, decides to be a troll, and now Champagne Poppy thinking, uh, I need excitement in my life. And it goes even further. Yeah, so, yeah, wow. that's on some Jada, Jada Peekin level stuff, too. No, yeah. Low key, high key, yeah. high key <laughs> because she just Don't threw respond. him out there. Yep. My husband decided to be a troll. And, yeah. Drake follow me. I was like, damn. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Throw him to the wolves. Huh? So and then have a conversation they having right now. And then uh, he I mean, takes a right. screenshot. He, <laughs> he takes a screenshot of her DMs where Drake was like, "I'm here for you, ma." <laughs> Yo, Drake had time to do whatever with, he feels doing with the Marvin's Room instrumental playing in the background. Yeah, like, he uh, had time today to to I'm troll. Just saying. <laughs> you could do better, baby. Another man's wife. 
So the question I propose to y'all is how would y'all feel if Drake just decided to DM y'all wives? I'm saying you guys so are married. Yeah, yeah. Take from him? yeah I, I oh, asked the married guys. Little... How, how would you feel? I wouldn't feel nothing. I wouldn't drip. It's, it's, you wouldn't it's, drip? On, it's on how she responds. I was about to say, it's really off of her response yeah. annoying Kess. The way she be responding to people, she be ignorant to people. So she be like, She'll give them like the smart ass responses and stuff. She be showing me response, man. Yeah, oh. some, some responses be funny as hell. Oh, she boy. be getting in her bag. I be sitting there laughing at some stuff. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like she, like I'm pretty sure if somebody decided, hey, let me let me send her a DM today or something, she would say some slick shit to him, <laughs> or just I, ignore the shit altogether. Natural. And just be like, look, I'll ignore it. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. She gotta leave. Huh? You think that's how, that's how it go? You be just like, eh. I, Depending on it, just depends on like you said. Yeah, like, the response like, matters. The response. Yeah, like it's not. I wouldn't be mad at you. I mean, I'd be. I guess because I'm like I'm trolling. I'm a grown ass man trolling yeah. another. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the situation like, is different. Yeah, it's different. It's like, all right, well, <laughs> good. One, I knew Drake. I wouldn't do that if it's just on some like. Oh, I see they do. You know, I see a YouTuber and he popping and he trying to. Oh, let's well, let me and you collab instead. Of some <laughs> shit, you know. <laughs> oh man! They reached out to my team, but now nah, I want to. I want to do a video with you, ma. Ma, it's the ma, the yeah. sickening. Not the ma. I'll be irritated with them, but it's like it depends on how she responds. Be, be in the lab, All right? Yeah. Right. That heart, that heart part is getting faded now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm feeling chicken now. I'm coming at you. I say, go ahead and wrap. I'm your replacement now. Okay. Light skinned niggas always been back. I'm the greatest now. I don't know what you heard. Right. I'm somebody. I got the bars ready. Yeah, but it's usually it's usually the woman. I just like with every situation, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like I always look at you know the woman's response. Mm-hmm. You know, because dudes gonna be dudes. Of course, of yeah. course. But yep. She did low key put them out there though. She yeah, she, like, yeah, my, my the she did them kind of dirty. Eye yeah, the eye emojis. And apparently now he's getting a whole bunch of DMs from Drake fans saying, "Nah, she gonna fuck your wife." Bro. Now he look like a goofball, and she, she made him look even bro. more goofy. I'm talking about That's thousands kind of, of messages of, "Ah, Drake about to fuck your wife." Bro, How you does gotta, it feel? You might as well delete your account, bro. Like <laughs> you about to be a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> when you see them dogs in your front For yard. yard. <laughs> <laughs> when you know. see them owls in your front Dude, yard. You see them owls. Six, six, six. <laughs> Just know Drake upstairs going hard. Oh, Bing. <laughs> Leave me out of comments. Leave me out of nonsense. <laughs> Yo, that's it. <laughs> this nigga gonna see uh, a Mercedes concept in the front of his crib. Like, what type of Mercedes is that? Hey, who here? Bay. He gonna hear some unreleased Drake tracks right, upstairs. Right, I mean, this girl reference gonna be on the next season. You know who's gonna be at the door? <laughs> yeah, security. Oh, yeah. You know, you, who want, gonna, nigga? you know who gonna be at the door? Security? Who? Future. You can't come in here, bro. Some, some sensational like, stuff is happening right now. <laughs> sensational stuff is happening right now. There's some sensationalism going on up there. <laughs> sensational. We're back. I told a, you. That nigga going to come out with his towel. I told you she needs some excitement. <laughs> hey, yo, 40, let's go. You ain't going to hit Drake. Hey, yo, 40, you let's go. You have goons with him. What are you going to do? This nigga Jake just smashed Mom's my wife at ties. your house. Oh yeah, mob time. Them he's gonna be that too. I am on next. Bro, number oh, number number the gold, black and gold over your house. No. I'm gonna say I want Nick. She, she, here, she gonna walk out in the OVO sweatshirt. Oh, oh that's the most. And it's gonna <laughs> be she, all. She gonna come out with an OVO robe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. Got home, like, you got got the OVO robe. <laughs> baby, see what you started. You got home early. I, I thought she was gonna be late. <laughs> That's what you get for trolling. Ah, 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 I need a one day. It's not even cheating. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's Drake, babe. What What do you expect? <laughs> uh, stroking for your trolling. What do you expect? It's Drake. It's Champagne Poppy. Don't call him his Instagram name. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling him Poppy. <laughs> That's so different. Yeah, don't call him by his name. Speaking Drake do taking notes. These clutch guys got some good ID. My girl can't call him by his Instagram name. <laughs> That's disrespect. Call him Drake. Right. Call him this man, Aubrey. Champagne. Aubrey. Call him but say Aubrey. call him Aubrey. Don't even call him Drake. Yeah. Don't even call him Drake. No, call him Mr. Graham. <laughs> Mr. Graham. But for the Mr. Graham. Mr. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. No, he give that me. remind me. Somebody on Twitter, he said, he said I'd rather uh, Drake get in my girl DMs than Future. 
And I was oh. like, no. Bro, see. It's the opposite for me. <laughs> it's the opposite. Some weird shit. Wouldn't it? If I had to choose, it's the opposite for me. Nah, Sorry, bro. Good, bro. <laughs> Who would you rather? You want future? <laughs> I'm featuring you, girl. Do you want future now? Huh? Yeah, I don't nah. Drake, no, I'd rather future. Drake, nah. I ain't worried about future. I don't need one of them niggas in my life. <laughs> I don't want none of them in it. Oh, but if I gotta choose, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, choosing yeah. future. Drake, too damn smooth, bro. Yeah. Bro, he's diabolical. He'll start sending care packages. Calculated. That's why I said I said he a, don't he an innocent demon. Don't your don't your, uh, your boyfriend like Jordans? I got some mixed. <laughs> got some mixed. Hey, baby, go I ahead and uh, shit. <laughs> I bought something for both of y'all. Yeah, I'm thinking about all of us. We a team. But but me, but only me and yours match. His is just yeah. Color. You get the throwaway. Yeah, you got the throwaway OVA OVO <laughs> exclusive. The trash concepts. The trash concepts. But you get them though. You got them. Appreciate the shoes. <laughs> Drake, Drake yeah, thanks, is, bro. Drake is smooth like that. He, and, and, he, and he's the type of person he'll let it be known. He'll drop it in his track. Other people won't know the bars, but the only people that know what he's talking about is uh, the people he's the people talking, he talking about. The people he's talking about. Shoes only two <laughs> <minutes. laughs> I saw the nigga, he only had, only had a, pair, a pair of two headbacks or some shit. <laughs> talking about what's in his room and shit. She had fun he in the skies. He, he walked out the house with the hat to match. <laughs> Damn, this Drake track go hard. I don't know who he talking Look, about. She had fun in the skies. <laughs> she, she y'all told, she y'all told remember him, that? She told him she was at a show with Plies. <laughs> <laughs> he going to be like, y'all remember that? That podcast back on May 4th? <laughs> that same troll. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was us. That was us. That was us. <laughs> 5-4-2022. <laughs> Homies on YouTube. He gonna put thank y'all down. He gonna put, put thank you down in the uh, comment you. section for Niggas us. Like, Man, that Drake track go <laughs> he gonna, hard. He gonna have a whole verse from he us. Gonna, <laughs> he gonna put one all in the yeah. in the in the comment. Yeah, just, just one all emoji. <laughs> Appreciate Drake. you, Drake. <laughs> we got you, bro. <laughs> I just need some OVO twelves. <laughs> the all white ones with the gold trims. I want the OVO yeah. elevens, yeah. the all gold ones. <laughs> I need the OVO 12s, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, OVO hey, I pack. got you. <laughs> you just give me a sweatshirt. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I've yeah, always wanted sweatshirt to be holding to. <laughs> bro, this is, bro. We giving niggas ideas. That's <laughs> fucked up to so smash who, Who's wife. a celebrity that you think you, uh, y'all woman should give y'all a pass to flirt with? Flirt with. I like the wording there. <laughs> That's good <laughs> wording. He's done his job. Like Flirting done. is good wording. <laughs> That's good wording. <laughs> Wording, man. I don't. I don't run a university for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> that's good wording. Oh man, that's hmm. That's hmm. a good one for me. It gotta be Janae. Oh, Janae. Yeah, Janae. Man, I've always had. I have two. Janae. Oh, Janae. Janae. Oh, yeah, man. You gotta deal with Big Sean. <laughs> He ain't think about. See, he next. See, boy, he boy. Nigga, fresh, shape and healthy. Fresh, fresh corn rolls, Big Sean. Yeah, too, fresh bro. Corn <laughs> Are you, you in trouble? Problem. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, what's the uh, dark skinned girl from uh, P Valley? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't watched, I P, watched P Valley. Oh, Man, uh, Brandon. the Brandon. finest, Brandon. the finest no. stripper in the show. Yeah, the, <laughs> the the star. She became yeah. the star. Yeah, yeah. And then um, <laughs> Ross got another one. Actually. And then um, like, the the black chick that was uh Kevin Hart's wife or girlfriend when he was a gamer. What the hell is that movie? The uh, girl from Sonic. Yeah, the girl from Sonic. She in, in the new Sonic. I haven't Sonic seen Sonic. Oh, yeah. You've never seen the first one? Oh, I haven't seen none of them. I can yeah. find oh, her. Oh, the black. All right, yeah. Um, we're back. Hey! Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Camera. Yup. Yeah. Cut off. But, um, yeah. But yeah, oh, yeah I thought that's morning, morning. I want the money. Right. Money in the cars. Cars in the clothes. The hoes. Well, I'm paying a lot of hoes. Oh, what? Right. A lot of hoes. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. So we don't yeah, know whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Consensually. <laughs> consensually. Yeah, consensually. I would hope so. Please. Please, please. please, please you got to add it. You got to add it. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Consensually. Down on my knee. Consensually. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what's up, wrong with us? So we was talking about uh, who we uh, like. Who we able to flirt with? Who should we should be able to get a pass with? Oh, yeah. And I said, uh, Janae. Uh, you said I said Tika Sumter and yeah. um the girl from P Valley. The <laughs> girl from P Valley. I don't know her name. I I did at one mind. point, 
But um, I accidentally like her it's own. it's the dark skinned chick that uh ended up being like the main stripper on the show. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, I, I know. What about you, Dub? Um, I, I laugh because I say Nisha no minds. Um, oh. Candace Patton. Mm. Hires from uh, the Flash. The Flash. Mm. That's a good one. Solid, a, solid. A Dallas fan, solid. but all can be forgiven. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, the only, only thing. thing. That's her like only she, flaw. She loves the Dallas Cowboys. I just don't. No disrespect to those who love. Dallas no Cowboys. disrespect. <laughs> all disrespect. It's a little stain. It's a stain. It's that's definitely a stain. <laughs> <laughs> she said, that's a stain, nigga. Hell no. Nah. About you, Brennan. <laughs> You don't have to be a Shanti man. Ooh, that's not that's oh, fair. Baby. That is always fair. That's pretty yeah, fair. Always fair, man. Every time I think of a Shanti, I think of her on that that video shoot with her. Can you buy that for me? That's the every time really? like that's the first thing that Which comes. One? The video where she was with the elephant. Oh yeah, yeah. That, Ooh, yeah, that one makes yeah. sense. Like that's anytime you mention yeah. her name, I just picture that because I just naturally comes it. to that. I was like, damn. You like, you like the wild too? <laughs> that elephant is. Really, really, Earth. really, uh, living his best life. I wonder if that elephant's still alive because you know they be living a long time. Ross wanted to be an elephant in that scene, <laughs> I did. and they have great memories Brandon too, said so I they did. remember. Uh, I wonder where that little it. sexy little brown skin, yeah, yeah. what's she human. at? What a human at? at? What a human at? <laughs> what a human at? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> we had a good time on that day. I was able to leave, leave my family, I paid in fruits. <laughs> They teaching me the football. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, that, that that that's pretty solid though. Everybody, and we all chose nice, wholesome people. We did yeah, now nah, we ain't choose no, you know. We ain't gonna say <laughs> yeah, yeah. who. We ain't choose, and they, hey, they, there's everybody for somebody. Somebody like whatever they like. You know, what I'm saying course, some man. people are into. To you know, certain women that do certain things, and some people are into more of the you know kind of chill, reserved women. Yeah. And I think uh, me and you was having Simply a conversation. <laughs> we and you was having a conversation mm-hmm. about that, like how things are now when it comes to like women presenting themselves, like, and I guess you could say like the sex appeal. Like mm-hmm. people don't. I think people tend to forget because we're so used to seeing. The like the explicit stuff everywhere that it's in my opinion and I think a lot of us older guys opinion it's sexier to to see less because it makes you want to know what something to imagine yeah you know this leave something for imagination mm-hmm. it it wants it makes you imagine <laughs> yeah definitely well if you're saying P Valley you see a lot in P Valley yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but why I started watching it. minus that minus say, that she still. Like, Whoa. With with clothes or without clothes, whatever you want to say, I mean, she's just, very attractive yeah, woman. Yeah, really attractive. <laughs> but it's just in the sense of like the everyday girl, like, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with the being attracted hard to with glasses. Yeah, there's nothing wrong night. with right. being attracted to the ones you know got the booty shorts, all this other stuff. Because I mean, we're <clears> men, and <throat> if you like that, then it's yeah. it is what it is. But at the same time, it's also sexy and sometimes sexier to see someone like they ain't really showing too much, but you. It's like, oh damn, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, she, mm-hmm. I, I like the vibe. Like, I like the the energy she's giving off. She's being sexy without even like showing any much. skin. Yeah, she don't even have to show any skin. It's just her. Oh. She, she's vibrant. Like, yeah, her yeah, vibrance, yeah. Her her vibrance radiate mm-hmm. sex a, a, a good mm-hmm. sex appeal. And I say that from like because we were talking about how you don't have to look a certain way. Like, mm-hmm. it's not about because I know a lot of people had issues with Lizzo and her like. Mm-hmm. Whether she's secure within herself, confident or her insecurity, and I'm like, bro, like, it don't matter how big you are. It doesn't matter. I mean, well, not too big. Yeah, but, yeah. For um, good reasons, yeah. But yeah, it's it's bro, it's somebody, the confidence and just just something about you loving yourself and you being with who you are, knowing who you are. Mm-hmm. That's just a total like, bro. Like, that's very just, attractive. Bro. It's a an attract. You can feel it. Like mm-hmm. when somebody just come in talking with confidence, their head is up. They're joking around. They know how to speak. They give good eye contact. Like mm-hmm. that will take you a long and way. And a pretty smile. Oh, man. Yeah. And you don't always have to take a picture with your ass showing first. Yeah. You, know, you can actually come in the room and have like a nice conversation. Like, bro, dudes are simple. I'm trying oh, to tell you. We, yep. Guys are the simple. beginning of time. <laughs> it was super are, simple, bro. Guys are very simple. So mm-hmm. women out there be like, oh, I need to lose weight to get a guy. Like, no, nah, no. You lose don't. weight for yourself. You know, for you know your health and stuff like that, but nah, you don't trust and believe. Boy, boys was at the Jill Scott, big or small. 
Because Facts. Boy, she just has this mm. aura of she, like. <laughs> <laughs> you heard Brandon mm. before her microphone. Shit yeah, yeah, before that, yeah. yeah. still like yeah, she fine. Like yeah, it's it, it's all about the your your presence and and mm-hmm. what you bring outside of just the super kind of the super like over sexualized stuff. Like gotta throw nudity at you in order to get you you know, the yeah. latest premium BBL package. It's, it's cool. Yeah. We've seen it all. We've seen we've the, seen the ant bodies. We've seen we've them. We've seen it. Oh, man. We've bro, seen just, it. So many women starting to look alike to the point where that's not even attractive no more. At all, bro. I was just telling Kess that I was yeah. like, yo, I don't even know who half these females are. She was like, that's China doll. That's doll doll. That's the other doll with the other doll name with the that's Doug doll the, bibbity doll. The one girl that's little such and such. That's such and such. That's Miami. That's da da da. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, who is who anymore? Like, they just start looking the same. Facts. And yeah, I mean, man. boys don't even give. I mean, they just they committed. Like, it's mm-hmm. to a point now where it's just like, man, y'all are making people that the little girls is just soaked into social media now. Yep. They looking at that and they are having insecure. And I think about the insecure issues that the girls that went to our schools had. Mm-hmm. Now I'll think about. The stuff that they see I for people like that this. can't afford, you know, things you can't even necessarily afford. So you probably automatically think like, "Damn, I'll never get a boyfriend." Or somebody, everybody probably think I'm ugly because very stupid. Because I mean, I don't, I don't. Just, but they don't know that because yeah, they don't know. you know, all they see is that life. All they see is that, and that's guys have a part in that too because guys only push that in the music videos and the songs. I want a bad B. I'll pay for your package. Or they guys. simp over it. Or they know? simp over and it. We bro. gotta get into that too. Because uh, before we even got started up the podcast, Dub had posted up a, a little a little post on Facebook and just randomly on his feed of how it started and how it's going. And basically, on the feed, it shows a guy messaging a girl. Let me pull that like, shit up, bro. I don't know if it was like every day or every it month. Was, it was like every month almost. He's like, basic, You see the messages with be like, hey, how you doing? Uh, Hey, gorgeous. To the, same, to the same chick, bro. She oh, I think was emailing her over and over and over and over. Yeah, right there. Um, He was just saying, hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. This was March. He said it in April. He said it in July, November, December. Um, <sighs> And it was how it started, where it's a screenshot of all those messages oh never God. being responded to. And then the next picture said how it's going. And I guess apparently now he's in the picture with her. Fellas, I'm taking a selfie. This is a one per- This is a zero 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 point one yeah, percent man. chance that happens. Stop it, guys. Yeah. Just Take chill. For granted that there's a huge chance, like Ross said. That, that chase ain't worth it. Bro, it's it's not, not, bro. Like just chill. I've I've messaged a chicken DMs before. If she read it, I was like, all right, cool. And I left it at yeah, that. Bro. I went on by my day because at the end of the day, this. There's plenty of women out there for you. You don't have plenty. to. You don't have to just keep doing that over and over and over, thinking something is gonna happen. Now, granted, in this person's uh, situation, it actually happened. It yep. worked out. But like I said, you have a better chance of probably winning the lottery with some, than doing this on Bro. the regular, thinking this is gonna happen, fellas, man. Like that method ain't it, my boy. That's not it, bro. If I was single now, one time. I'm messaging you yep, once. One time, bro. Next. I probably wouldn't even message you because in my mind, the way I even think, I'm like, bro, it's a thousand other niggas that just yeah. doing this girl. Like, yep. Yeah, I'm going to I'm let us meet in person or something like that in order for me to shoot my shot. Mm-hmm. But I'm not about to be 1,001 in your DM um, trying to talk to you. That's just not me. Yeah, she got over a thousand followers. Like, I don't know. Yeah, nah. I'm cool. I'm cool with the and, under, and you can read the comments and oh man, damn baby, I can take care of you. Damn, you look good morning, baby. Good. Oh my God, like what's bro. your cash app, ma? What's your cash? App? If your cash app is in your bio, nope, that's that's, that's a red that's flag. A dunzo. That ain't that's it, my boy. Flag. That's a dun. But guess what? People still be like. Damn man, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I got some money for it. Like, bro. I'll treat you, girl. I'll treat you. Head right. ass. And we all know what you're trying to do. <laughs> Be a trick. Yeah, we know what you're trying to do. So, yeah. like, hey, fellas, man, come on. We, we got to have some better self respect for ourselves, man. Because yep. how can we t- expect these women to take us seriously if we doing stuff like this and thinking that's going to get us somewhere? Like, no. If I only I can never fathom. Maybe my he was dad. saying hi, gorgeous, to a bunch of other women at the same time. I'm pretty sure he that was his daily routine. He said like, one of them go respond. Once a month. Yeah, <laughs> once, once a, a month. month. One of them go respond. God damn it, oh, never, bro. Nah, Not like, like I can't imagine my my dad growing up in this era or whatnot <laughs> of just messaging my mom every single yeah, day or issue. every other month just to say hi. Like, dad, you was a clown. Like that's goofball. That's, <laughs> 
<laughs> and, I, and I think it worked. In, Welcome um, in. I think it worked in their favor in the time period that they grew up in because yeah, you had no other choice. <laughs> yeah, you had to socialize. Baby, I love you. Like that's just what it was, bro. Like you yeah. had to be able to. And then they had nothing else to do either, so they was just like, "Let's pop babies." <laughs> yeah, that's, it's kind of like now too, though. Like, I got a question, bro. Because mm-hmm. speaking of babies and popping babies, um, Young Thug made a comment. Oh, this is. I want to see one. what this y'all is... thought about this. Because yeah, I haven't heard, heard it. Talking about. Let's I, I it. didn't. I didn't. Different. Can you know it? Uh, basically, I don't know. I don't want to paraphrase, but yeah. I do know. Apparently, he was saying that broke people shouldn't broke have men. Yeah, broke. Let me see. It's basically it was like broke men shouldn't be allowed. To come if you like, you shouldn't be allowed to come inside a chick because all you're doing is ending up raising a child that's not gonna be able to, you know, get what they want or need because you ain't got no money. Yeah. So basically, broke men shouldn't be able to come in women. If you're broke, you shouldn't be able to have kids. Yeah, that's you what shouldn't he said. be able to have kids. I don't even think it was just directed at men. I think he just said if you're broke, they you shouldn't be able to. Have but a lot kids. of men should have something to yeah. say about it, of course. But. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He said you're making them rob and kill and steal. He could have been better on the delivery, but no, I get the, the message. Said this many times before? I get what he's saying. I, yeah. I get what he's trying to say. Yeah, I get yeah, the message. Do y'all agree? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Broke people shouldn't have kids. Why are you trying to have kids? You, you should be situation. trying to exactly. get your situation. Trying, better. yes. Accidentally having them, it's the one thing. Yeah, but yeah. but trying for yeah. sure. I don't think you should be trying if you're broke. Like, right. bro, if you it broke, just doesn't even make you sense. Said you shouldn't be nothing to nobody if you broke. Not even just broke, just being <laughs> living in a, in a horrible environment, bro, and constantly getting pregnant. And it's just terrible, bro. It is. In my I mindset, because mean, you're, you're yeah. continuing the cycle. Exactly. In my mindset, it makes sense. If I'm broke, I ain't got a pot to piss in. The last thing I'm worried about is a vagina. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make it <clears> and exactly. get myself together. Before I even think about talking to a chick or think about even trying to lay up with a chick. Especially if I'm broke. Let me. I'm broke. Yes. I'm broke. <laughs> nigga, I'm broke. So yeah, I can't eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? got I'm it. Baby. Like, my girl got to pick me up. My girl got it. Or someone I'm messing with. Hey, can you pick oh, me up? Man. Can you take me to McDonald's? Like, all this stuff. Like, no, bro. <laughs> Like, hold on, man. I can only call when I'm at home. You can only call me when I'm at home because nah, that's when I have Wi Fi because no. my phone off. Like, bro, none of that. I need to focus on yourself, King. work on yourself, King. and then everything else will fall into place. All that messing with, you know what I'm saying, women or, you know, trying to do something because, oh, she look good, you know what I'm saying, I ain't, I ain't got nothing, all I can give her is dick. Then you need That's to, it. You, know? you need to learn how to use a condom or pull out. That too. But, like At I said, that point, priorities you... definitely need to be changed. And I got to flip it on the women here. You got to mm-hmm. stop messing with these niggas that you know ain't shit, ain't got nothing going for them. Because you... Are also part of the equation. It, you can't have a baby without a man and a bah, woman. Damn, you just shot somebody. Right? <laughs> so, damn, bro. you know what I'm saying? Put the you trigger gotta, down. <laughs> he said, put the trigger down. Bro. You gotta, put the you gotta put the guns your... down, man. <laughs> Stop the Put violence. the guns down. Stop the violence. You gotta hold yourself accountable as well. But you that's... got these too, my boy. <laughs> you got these too. <laughs> well, hey, you win some, <laughs> you lose some. <laughs> but you live. But you live. To fight another day, Ross. <laughs> R.I.P. Pops, man. Peace, man. But, uh, Rest in peace. Going. Yeah, it's it's just That's, you're absolutely right, bro. Like mm-hmm. I, I I do Facts. personally feel like um your priorities should be in a better place, man. Mm-hmm. If I'm already struggling, I don't want to bring another struggle into the world. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to bring a struggle into the world. Um, you know, that's the same thing like growing up myself. Like I didn't have it all the way when I had my first daughter, my mm-hmm. first child. Um and it, all I know is I wasn't going to struggle. Yeah. Now, that's the only thing that was in my mind. I'm like, bro, I'm determined to figure something out, whether it's working, whether it's being an entrepreneur. And I and I did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. And one thing about me, I didn't allow my situation to get me down. I wasn't mm-hmm. ignorant of people because I didn't have it all the way and had a child young. I didn't blame nobody. Yeah. Um, I just took care of my responsibility. I didn't complain. Whatever, whatever issue I had, I let it out personally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't 
you know, blank going around getting mad at the world because I did something. That's the thing, bro. I wish people just owned up to the shit that they did. Own up if to you. you a lot of things could be fixed own if you would just take accountability. Up, yeah, just take accountability. You did something. You was fucking with this nigga. You was fucking with this girl. Now you got a kid. Now you, you know what I'm saying, on child support. Think about it, bro. That girl that you on child support, that, that got you on child support, you knew that it was probably something about her yeah. that wasn't, that was going to be on some shit if you mm-hmm. got her break. Yep. I mean, we all know, you know what risk. you got into. We all know the risk. What happens when you have sex? Like, mm-hmm. there is a risk of having a child, even with condoms sometimes. And yep, STDs. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of risk with having sex. That's why in the Bible you're supposed to wait till you get married. But that's you know that's another bag. That's a, that's right. a whole different story. You know what I'm saying? But again, like I'm saying, be accountable for your situation. Own up to it. And if you got to let it out, bro, I let it out a lot. But I let it out personally into in my closet because it's like, yo, you got to face it now. I didn't go out there being mad at nobody and blaming people for my situation, nor did I put put it make it to a point to where I was going to let my kids just raise themselves mm-hmm. to where they become a product of their environment. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's happening too. Parents, dudes are having kids with women who got to work now. Now the dudes working, whether they in the life or not, and the kid is pretty much raising themselves in the hood because they don't have a father mm-hmm. or they don't have a two parent household and. Mm-hmm. Now you creating somebody kind of like what he's saying, bro. You learning from the streets, so you're gonna do of the streets, which is another thief, another killer, another nigga that's a part of the gang, and the cycle just continues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody trying to smash in the hood, you know. The, the, the game is, oh man, I'm trying to talk to this girl, man. I'm trying to woo, keep you trying to let me come over, woo, 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 you know. And then next thing you know, bam, same thing then happened to him. It's and then it's, it's, it's just all they know. If you want to enforce change, bro, try to focus on building a foundation first. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, sometimes you gotta, you know, rough through it. Sometimes people don't make it till they about thirty something, forty. Yep. Okay. But I'd rather be that old and can provide for my child and do something, versus young, or not even. No matter how old you are, but not prepared, and you got a child now. Now you, not only with the government assistance because that's what it's there for, but now you in a product. You know, you in a, an environment where your child can't do nothing. They can't grow up in the in the right neighborhood, you yep. can't afford to take them anywhere, so they don't know anything outside of the hood or the community. Uh-huh. You know, it's I, bro, you'd be surprised how many niggas that didn't leave a box of Houston. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Facts, like just the boat mine. What's that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just yep, is people really like that? It's like, people that stay in their same side of town. I know people who've never been on the south side of Houston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know right. people on the north side that don't like to that that <clears throat> don't drift past downtown. Mm-hmm. Actually. And it was like, bro, it's more to life than just being in a bubble. Um, but I mean, it, it starts, it starts at home, bro, and it starts with what we're building. That's why they always say, kid, bro, that kids of the future shit. You remember hearing that all the time when mm-hmm. we was kids? We was annoyed by hearing that. Like, y'all the future, y'all the future. I thought you were talking about the Whitney Houston song. But yeah. I believe no, no, no. the children are the future. Just in general. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sex with chocolate. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just be the way. But just being in elementary <laughs> in general, bro. Like just sitting in elementary and always hearing, bro, you're the future, y'all the future, y'all. Like you was annoyed. All right, <laughs> but I hear you. Now you realize, like we are some of the we things were. that we that were. You could tell who was raising who and who had what type of discipline because yep. some kids just didn't give a damn. Yeah. And you already knew it was gonna be like, Tony gonna be a motherfucker. <laughs> like cause that, he don't give a shit about nothing. And guess what? They Where Tony at? Not giving a shit about nothing. That happened, um, bro. Niggas from school. Uh, I don't want to mix it up, but um. Mm-hmm. You know, Sterling was an aviation school. I was telling you this. Mm-hmm. And, bro, one of the guys was a pilot. He was one of the first, one of the, uh, a young black pilot coming out of Sterling that actually got his pilot license. He was working at the airport. Mm-hmm. So he came back to Sterling to talk to the, you know, talk to us. You know, I think we were seniors or juniors at the time. I think mm-hmm. seniors. But we did a little, you know, assembly and he came and talked to us, just kind of, you know, spitting some game to him, telling us his, his struggles of trying to, you know, get to where he is and whatnot and where he's still trying to go. And, I mean, you had niggas kind of just bullshit, you know, not really wanting to hear. Everybody want to be funny, making jokes and shit like that. Yep. And then I think he bust out some statistics statistics, and was like, you know, I think he said one in, one out of every three of you black men in here are either going to be killed or in jail. Woo! Like, he, he'd start throwing statistics, and then niggas in there start getting mad and shit. Like, man, what you mean? Nigga, how you going to say that? It was either him that said that or one of the teachers, assistants or something. Mm-hmm. But I remember that situation because when you start looking back, you're like, mm, 
He was and right. I started looking at looking at people that done passed away or people that done, that are locked been up, been in jail, and I'm like, damn, niggas is so mad. But he was trying to give us game, and mm-hmm. it's like I know we trying to be funny, bro, and we want to be the coolest, smartest, flyest, yeah. brokest mother out there. And I love my, you know, community, but it's just like situations like that show you why sometimes it's whole, so hard to reach back <coughs> because some niggas just think it's a game until mm-hmm. you get in the game and realize like, yo. This shit is real out here. Facts. You know, so I didn't want to make that such a serious segment, but I mean, I, I, do, I mean, I deeply it makes feel sense. The, the original yeah. part of what Thug was saying, it, it does make sense. That's literally what he's saying at the end of the day. It's like, hey, bro, you, you stop the cycle. Stop the cycle. Stop the cycle, man. Hey, if you ain't got it together, not saying, oh, you're going to got to be super rich to finally have a kid. No, that's not practical. But at the end of the day, you know, if you ain't got nothing to your name, really. You need to be focusing on getting something, yeah. something for yourself before if you, don't you got even, your own place. Yeah, like if you that, don't got your own car. Yeah, bro, those are like <laughs> customary now. Exactly. That's, yeah, those, you're that's trying like, to have a kid with like no a place diploma. or car. Huh? Like, <laughs> you out here trying to have a kid with no place or a car? Right, yeah, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like, where they going? Where y'all staying? Yeah, like, like you, you got a bed to smash on. How you smash? Like, <laughs> on your mom's crib yeah. on your mom's bed, mom's couch. You Move over, Junior. I'm trying to get something. Don't say the hotel because if that's the case, do not tell your baby that's where you, you was made at. Like, bro, until six. Like, like come yeah. on, man. Like, you got to have some of the basic things to function before you even get to that bag. Cause, and once again, like I was saying, it goes back to the women. You know who you're dealing with. You know what they're about. You know what type of situation they're in. And you still put, you know, allow yourself to be. Coerced you seen, or you seen or, he came over with them black forces on. You thought, <laughs> you thought I can change him. You can't. <laughs> Not right now. He gotta change no, himself. He still has on black forces. Yeah, you can't change. You that. gotta wait till those are off. Until he changed them shoes, baby. Like yeah. let them go. Let, let them make it. There's there's plenty of other good men out here like Brandon, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. myself out here. Thought you tapped my shoulder. Man. I'm gonna say, hey, oh bro, no no no, you <laughs> big killed on the pod. He, no, no, he no. was like, I am not out here. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 73. Where, oh, where's Dub? Uh, where's <laughs> Dub at? Sadly, Dub has up. been murdered by Nisha. <laughs> so uh, apparently, it's some shit be going on up here when I'm not here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Shout out to Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, there's there, floating somewhere. There's plenty of uh, good men out there that's gonna treat you right, do you right, not gonna BS you, bro. Just you gotta, yes. we gotta stop that cycle of you know. I love my, I'm, I love my black brothers, but sometimes we are a detriment to ourselves and we don't even realize it. We just think this is how it's supposed to be. Yep. And this is what it is, and I'm not gonna change it. Yes, and sir. It's like it's, it's that stubborn pride yeah. ego yeah, mindset. I a few man. years ago, I heard. Um, this one guy, you know, he was the father of about like, I think four or five kids, and I think his his girl was pregnant. And damn, he was, he was literally saying he was like, man, like, you know, he's like, shit, ain't nothing wrong with having a whole bunch of kids, cause that, cause that, therefore, uh, you you increase your chances. One, one of them might be a a ball player, NBA player, and stuff. And I'm just like, what type of bullshit? Mentality is exactly. Yeah, that sounds like some shit I've heard before. It yeah, they, definitely sounds like they, something they, I heard they before. Struggle couple and stuff, and they struggle. Off of, struggle. You know, said, um, not a power one, a struggle yeah, one. You know, it, was, it was in the hood and stuff. <laughs> the so struggles I was unite, couch, and I'm just like, bro. struggle goals. They, yeah. they put their Captain Planet rings, <laughs> the struggle rings together, and the yeah, big right struggle there. man. They're all made out of cardboard. <laughs> bro, food stamp house. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You get it. Lone you. Star activated. Oh like, my Lone, Lone God. Star man. Yep. EBT. EBT. And <laughs> in Hennessy. <laughs> Somehow there's a Hennessy bottle somewhere. Food <laughs> steps <laughs> unite. Yeah, I was, I was like, yeah, that's a <laughs> name brand. Yeah. I gotta get out this house. And, uh, yeah. yeah, nah, man. When you start looking at it from that point of uh, trying to get get that you one child to you know one. be a ball player or All something. It takes is one. It starts with you, my guy. Gotta, it starts, <laughs> it with, starts, you. starts with you. Like, he he gotta, kids, oh, 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 how that swing going? <laughs> he gotta, he gotta, he gotta have a ball to order to start yeah, practice. Exactly. We're not talking about the ones from the dollar store, bro. You can't, like, you can't you gotta go to the academy, my guy. 
get you a real basketball. Bro, everybody don't got to have a struggle story, bro. We don't. don't. All, Thank you, bro. Our kids, we point, shouldn't want our kids. I don't want my child growing up saying, man, I had to get out the mud, bro. I remember we, yeah. we couldn't <laughs> eat one night, man. The lights was off sometimes. We lit candles. I don't want to hear my children say that. Oh, like, they, can't, they definitely can't say that. But still, like, <laughs> boy, I I, if it's going to be hard, I want to They better make, not I say that. It hard for you. Yeah, better not make a better mixtape, not. Tape, bro. bro. Mix. Over there, sound boy, like them Pearland kids. I'm writing a diss track. I'm coming I'm out of retirement. Kids. And I'm writing a diss track. Pearland kids oh, being man, damn. Exactly. Pearland like kids being them two story houses yeah. talking about so man, yeah, I was in the trenches. Man, why? Stuff, why? What trenches? Why. Yeah, I was in A Leaf last night. Why? Leave. Go back to Pearland where your house is at. Yep. I can only imagine what y'all went through because I, I don't know. Bruh. Y'all niggas ain't even <laughs> moving out the hood to Pearland is the yeah. most confusing shit ever because mm-hmm. you like you confused because you like that's why are you acting like that? Bro, it was just I want to be here, bro. Like, I, yeah. wanna, I didn't want to be there at first because I had all my friends. So it was well, like more of, I, I like a, I was city. like, man, this place. Yeah. But then like as you're seeing people like these people are goofy as hell. Why would you want to be yeah. like I, I wanted to be there for friends, not because I wanted to be selling drugs. Yeah. You niggas tripping. Because you don't realize <laughs> you're in the hood until you like start gaining consciousness. Yeah. Or, or surrounded. Because I mean, even back then, bro, it was a lot of black people gave a damn. Bro, you had I moved, leadership. You had grandma still. We moved and went to Pearland. That was my first time, like being in an area with like so many white people in the school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was weird to me. It was a culture shock immediately. Like even my middle school, like it had some, but it wasn't to this like to the degree of like, like Pearland. Majority. And so I was like, "Whoa, this is different." And so like seeing people trying to act all you know street and hood and stuff, it was weird because I was like. I've actually seen these people like, y'all need to stop. <laughs> this Chill, is Colton. <laughs> I definitely Chill, Colton. Like that. <laughs> at, Chill, Colton. At the Ridge, they definitely grew up in Quell Valley, right up the road. Break. Nice <laughs> houses. Nice <laughs> houses, bro. Talking about as soon as they start hanging around with certain people, whatnot, and after they graduated, it's like they, they just start tripping. Like, they all of a sudden they hood and gangster like I'm like bro, like, bro we was studying together, bro. To like the struggle like I don't get it because we rap because because hip hop is one of the most popular yeah. uh, genres of music like, and people hear it all the time. They hear the struggle and so that's what they want. They want that struggle or to see real. Yeah, they want to see the you real. You could have had it, boy. I was I used to watch Cribs mm-hmm. when I was a kid, boy, and I seen them little boys with the basketball goals in the back. Yeah, the, the, that's what I wanted, man. I don't give a damn about all the extra shit. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Give me not you having. Have this. Yeah. You got it. You can you have all it. this. I'm over here playing <laughs> basketball with uh, shopping carts, my nigga. Bro. Facts. <laughs> give me Baskets that. and shit. <laughs> shout out, to the, that, shout out to the homies that used to play in color. Where'd you stop it? I know, right? We used to have them. Uh, we used to have them baskets flipped up in the apartments, mm-hmm. bro. We used to be having. We used to run full games. Bro, I remember first time actually with some baskets, that. bro. I was like, why is the basket on the fence like that? Yep. And next thing you know, I saw somebody like with a basketball and shoot. just chuck, chuck, chuck that on it. I was like, hey, bro. And we get creative, bro. And look, we used to bro. hide them. I, I said this on a few pods. Like, we used to hide the basket when a Fiesta man used to come in a little truck to collect the baskets <laughs> in the apartment. Out. Yeah, bro. We used to hide the most. But it's like, you know, this this is one of them things where it's like, hey, do embrace, what you can. Embrace where you're. Where you're, mm-hmm. where you started, and just try to move forward the best way you can, bro. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's really it, bro. Don't don't be one of them people that's. I never understood the fake gangster thing, and you in a nice no. two story house in a nice suburb. I'm, what are you gangster for, bro? Just have fun. You, they, Enjoy that what don't you mean got. You a punk? Yeah. Like it like, don't. You can learn. You can fight, and you can be know how to fight in the suburbs. It's bro, okay. Mm-hmm. It's you okay because you're not from the hood. <laughs> I know He's people. A gangster? For, it's real. <laughs> Thanks, Clarence. <laughs> That's, that's why that pants pants have a real pants. good marriage. <laughs> I don't want to battle. He shook. Chuck, hey, those, his name is Clarence. <laughs> his name oh, is was... His name is Clarence. We got Papa Dot. <laughs> I mean, Clarence. One pot, two pot, three pot, four. Oh, your pot, he pot. No, that, but that is funny that because that's so the well. truth. It is. People, people will sit up there and portray something that they not to seem cool to fit in. Um, when it's like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? You had a, a butler come to you every morning. Here's your <laughs> your weekly regimen pills and everything else, your, yeah, your toothbrush and all this other stuff, bed and breakfast. Niggas like, we ain't know that shit. We don't know what that's like. 
We don't know what it's like to have a working garage. <laughs> like, what? Boy. Where you can actually park your car in the garage. Like, boys didn't grow up like that. Must so, be nice. Yeah, so I, I just want and I just want people to appreciate the things that they do have. And if you don't have it, work towards it. And don't, stop trying to have kids. Stop trying to have kids when, when you, you broke. Man. When you broke, bro. Get, exactly. Get, Chill out with all that. Listen. Chill, bro. Chill out with broke sex. <laughs> that broke sex. I don't even want to think of that. <laughs> broke sex. <laughs> Chill with that broke sex. Chill with that broke sex, bro. Come on, baby. I'll just sex. put on a pot of uh, fresh ramen. <laughs> A pot of fresh ramen. Come on, baby. I'm no, really not the fresh ramen. Do you want me to cut fresh the hot dog? Nah, fresh me? ramen be hitting like actual cut, ramen. You want me to cut the hot dogs? Yeah, but just, yeah, but hot dogs, yeah. it's cut most likely dogs. not going to be fresh ramen. It's going to be some goddamn top ramen. <laughs> top, here we go. Yep. Top ramen. Right, here we go. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to find. Because I'm like, ramen ramen, ramen, ramen is good. Yeah. <laughs> you want tri- shrimp or chicken, baby? <laughs> Mama, hold on. I told y'all I'm gonna have the living room for the night. Hey. Yeah. My mama be tripping. All right, Cordell, just don't get on. I'm, but so he gonna be that one weird one and be the, like Buzz, beef. And Buzz will hit the, oh, nah, she's staying with me right now. I'm just helping her. Yep. Sitting there front. I'm just you helping her out. Do That's the infamous. Nah, she's just staying with me right now. I'm just helping Boy ain't paying no bills. Really, all her pictures here since she was a kid. Uh, You know how my mama be. She got to make it home. Cedric. Cedric? (laughs) (laughs) Shut your lying ass up. Yeah, no, I put the car. Uh, I got the I got the car in my mom name while I work on my credit, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. I paid a note though. Oh, I'm in love. I paid a note. I paid a note. I paid a note. Know paid a note. It's not my name, but I paid it. Yeah. Bro, it be bro, before we get out of here, bro, can we really <laughs> can we let people know in relationships or that's trying to be in relationships or whatever situationships that they in, mm-hmm. there are signs. Yep. There are red flags that you ignore on the daily basis. Yep. yep. Every single day. And yep. then look dumbfounded. When the red flags pop back up. Huh? What? I didn't know she was a crack baby. You knew who I was since day one. Or you knew you seen her neck doing this every now and then. I knew she popped pills, but I didn't know she overdosed on them regularly. <laughs> like, Damn. what? It's, it's flags, bro. We just ignore the signs, bro. Stop mm-hmm. ignoring the signs of people. Mm-hmm. Um, when you in relationship or a situation, whatever the fuck, yeah, your love them. will make you blind. <clears throat> love is blind, love is blind. But you gotta start thinking with your head sometimes, bro. <laughs> it's true, yeah. not the, with your heart. The top head, yeah, yeah It'll top take head. over not that other your head. mind. Many times I thought about, yeah, I was using the other head, and yeah, it, 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 it almost got me. Yeah, it, it, the male problem. Yep. Yeah, the male problem. Yeah, we got that daily. Yeah, you know man. Yeah, that after that, that that brain goes to sleep. Literally when daily. Brain wakes up. I'm like yeah, burning with the reality. Yep. Mm-hmm. So. Snap back to reality. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. look at us with Eminem references today. <laughs> nah, mm-hmm. sure. speaking of Eminem, well, damn, boom, I can't boom, talk boom, about boom, it. Boom, I've been hearing boom. and just stop it. I've been hearing that Jack Harlow. Considered the best white rapper. Why do y'all do this to every rapper? People just the like trolling, white bro. White rapper that just comes out of nowhere. They don't do it to. Year. They do that to everything. I, I'm like every, everything exactly. And then they purposely compare it to start some kind of drama. Yeah. People love doing. I that just scroll past them. Me too. I'm like bro, ignorance. <laughs> Ignorance. I shall not entertain this yeah, today. I, I, at all. Y'all gonna wake up with logic now and like, see, it ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna hear the last stuff. Oh my I'm God. not retired anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm black. I mean, I'm half <laughs> black. <laughs> Basically. He made a whole campaign. I'm retired. I'm done. A year and a half later, bam. Like, he, he retired, then went under another alias, dropped yep. a mixtape, yep. then was like, I'm coming back. Like, you've been back. You never left. Yeah, you never, <laughs> yeah. we, we oh, knew. I retired him. Uh, we knew who oh, you okay. were. Oh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. You got schizophrenia. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. Somebody else. What's that? I'm one of the illest. I'm one of the illest. I'm one of the illest. I'm like, just keep <laughs> 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 it. Bobby Tarantino, uh, a.k.a. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Tarantino, a.k.a. Logic, a.k.a. Uh, MF Doom. What was his name? Doom something or something? Yeah. I don't remember well, his name. A lot of people it's not MF Doom. I know that. That's a legend. You got a lot of people. <laughs> MF Doom, man. But yeah, um, nah. Uh, Jack Harlow is just Jack Harlow. <laughs> yeah. That's no, no, no. He's the greatest of all time. You lying. <laughs> he's him. He don't know shit, bro. That song already. That has to be in the Guinness Book World Record of the quickest song that got old. Like that Fergie or put you in or whatever. That first class. I can put you in a. Like, come on now. I've been a. You hop on Instagram and that's all you hear. That and TikTok. TikTok, bro. TikTok actually ruined the song. Maybe honest. I don't know. Sex in the. Go ahead. Go crazy. Uh huh. It's going to come to a point. Why are you talking on the side of the mic? With tick- oh, this. He say sometimes you got to lean it to the side like T.I. do his hats. <laughs> I may be honest. 
don't know. I feel like it makes them to a point where, bro, like these TikTok songs. Of, I don't know, man. They they could somewhat maybe hurt to an extent because like, I don't even want to listen to the full song of Jack Harlow right now. Bro. There's a lot of songs I don't listen to the full of lot, because of that. I'm like, bro, they just get burnt out too quick. But that's how the radio is for me too. So oh, it's like radio, yeah. radio yeah. TikTok. They one in the same to me. Yeah, so bro, once I start like, hearing them songs over and over again, I'm like that song's trash. Mm-hmm. Yep. I no longer hey, like I remember it. Remember the time when you heard don't. Every goddamn oh, that, 15 bro. minutes. And I love that song I when it reached the I thought I did. Like six straight <laughs> bro, Houston radio. I feel like that's one of the most annoying yeah, songs. Yeah, they play don't. And, they and people would still the miss the count on the pause. Yep. People still to this day don't. Like, y'all done heard this a billion and one time. In traffic. Don't. <laughs> like, don't play. Like, don't. don't. Oh, God. Like, but, he did say it off beat like a hold yeah, Like, it was just like, just, you would never expect it there. You, Heard it so many times. That you should know point, yeah. eventually. You should know. Don't. I don't got that much time in my hands. Don't. <laughs> Damn, we want it, man. No, no, man. it's too late, bro. He, <laughs> he really pump faked the shit out of a lot of people, he though. <laughs> he did the, the up, the hezzy up. Yep. Nah, Bryson, he did the um, the don't ever tell him your next move. Don't. Huh? The oh next, yeah, he he was the you the know next what? move. The, he was the they originator. Got they got a challenge of where people. So he are, started it. Yeah, well, nah. we're just joking around, like, but he <laughs> he pretty much did because no one knew when he was gonna come in on the don't part. I'm so <laughs> he was like, he started it. Because I didn't know no. where that shit came from. It was yeah. so random. Was to way me. before TikTok. Right? Yeah, <laughs> but he he the OG. He's the real OG. Just imagine if TikTok was around when that song came out. Oh. oh. Can no. you imagine if TikTok was like What is the name of that school? song anyways? Yeah, we had any what? Of social media. Not, in not knowing the next move song. Uh, it's a Kodak using. song. It's uh, uh I forgot. I just know he had I just the, randomly start seeing people doing random shit. So yeah. I was like, this is so like I'm supposed to drink a water. Yeah. You just, <laughs> <laughs> like just random. Act like you're about to sit down and walk yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> AP flood. Water on my butt like a tub. I was like, oh, that's, that's water prime, on your butt like a tub. Kodak right there. <laughs> Water on your butt like a tub. Those were actual lyrics. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. I actually remember hearing yeah. that. Water on my butt like a tub. Yeah, That's Ross crazy. Ross confirmed it when he had to play because Ross randomly just sung that hook song. I'm like, because it, it's, it's so like, stupid. <laughs> it's great. It's funny, bro. That's Kodak for you, though. Kodak, right? That's yeah. what Kodak do. Bro, hey, you yeah, like what? We could have been superstars. I'm like, what the hell? Are you now we nah, have to take the course. <laughs> now it's not <laughs> safe for you. You switch <laughs> like. Little, Why you sound like Mike Tyson, bro? What the hell are you? Look, look we in his own. Say my name, ting, 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 Oh, so. But that song jam. I don't no, know what the, the jam, fuck you talking song about. Jam, though, <laughs> but it's just that nigga. Nah, nah, safe yeah, for you. Like, <laughs> you switch like, like a pussy little I'm like, all right. I'm like, man, all right. Man, that's uh, that's uh, 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 man I slide. Uh, 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 he basically talking about the people that ran off instead of helped you jump in the guy that ran on the stage. That's basically what he's talking about. And it comes full circle. Because they did not run. <laughs> they ran at him. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Get, get, get his ass. Yeah. I think they make. Let him, him get up. Let him get oh, up. He definitely saw. Stars. They didn't let him get up. Oh. <laughs> they didn't let him get up. My arm. My arm. My leg. My, yeah, exactly. my leg. He didn't get to let him get up. Moment. If somebody would have played that while he was getting beat up. I my leg. Probably on there by now. Probably. Is. Is. They make music for the infants now. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. That's exactly how they go in there. Right <laughs> Woo! I mean, it's simple. ABC it's catchy. <laughs> got the melody. Now it's not safe for you. Say my name. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Every time, bro. Woo, woo. But it jam. Woo, woo. But he has his lane, bro. And I can't knock it. Kodak knows what works. He got his lane. because he... He knows what works. Some shit that, you know, he, he, he be talking. Yeah. yeah, he be talking. He be talking about some be, shit. Be sounding silly sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Delivery can be, uh, you know, yeah, a little yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, the latest feature track. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, music. <laughs> what did he say? See, um, that's what he was off on. He got a lot of uh, good vibes off of that uh, uh, 
what's it, Gremlin or whatever. Yeah, Gremlin, yeah. And Super that's Gremlin. He, I, I'm, I'm a full blown sing on the next track I make. And, and yeah, so yeah. yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I always tell you, I want to see them trying to sing in the studio. I think that'll be the funniest oh, thing. Oh, it, ha- it has to be Boy, hilarious. Because then you have no effects. sound. No just sound. standing there and just listen to them sing. <laughs> Just dead audio. Acapella in there. Dead it. ass audio. Oh, Pray for that producer, I can take man. you back and turn to take you back oh and for. Oh, my God, bro. I can <laughs> only imagine. Yo. I just wish that's the, the, yeah. that's the footage we need. Yes. Yep. That's the acapella. I'll, bro, just. With, bro, if he's funny, like, because Drake is funny to me, acapella. Like, just hear Drake mm-hmm. is funny as hell. Him, so thug. hearing him. I want to hear Young Thug. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Playboy Cardi. Oh, oh my God. I just want to hear the ad-libs. Just, yeah. Uzi. just ad-lib the whole time. And yep. I just be in there. What? What? Boy. What? Amigos. <laughs> oh, Amigos is great. Mm-hmm. That's oh. actually entertaining listening yeah, to their ad-libs. Yeah, their ad-libs. Yeah. Oh. They, they got some pretty... Entertaining they some, ad they, ones. they can make a song out of that shit completely. And then, uh, of course, the baby. He got some solid ones too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Bro, just, uh, you know it's baby, nigga. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he walked out with Errol Spence this weekend. Oh, for real? <laughs> the baby. Like he was rapping with him as they walked out. I bet no. he was. <laughs> but he, it was funny because he was doing this. I was like, that man be fighting so much, he might as well go out Bro, there. And fight. I did see that and someone said, hey, man, <laughs> that nigga is the real undefeated champ. <laughs> he got two undefeated champs right there. <laughs> Oh That's probably why he got him to do it. <laughs> Bro, he's the undefeated street champ of the world. Do PT Cruiser! <laughs> Let's go! Let's... <laughs> Pull up! <laughs> that, that creeped me out as you were saying that. I just started seeing the creepy ass. Oh, yeah. Let's Before go! Me. Before we yeah, get yeah. out of here, imagine if someone ran up on the baby on stage. Damn, that stump out ain't gonna be. He he jumping in that stump out. A a fighter, fighter though. A fighter, fighter. Like a fighter. Oh, like somebody that with with the shits. Well, they probably wouldn't get in too many hits because the goons is gonna start stomping them. He might get a quick two piece. They quick, so yeah. Yeah. He will come up. (laughs) Me, me. He may get a a couple quick, but yeah. Then after that, it's over because everybody jumping that man. I got a swing on him because he can't get none on me. He's probably gonna be one hitting people though. You gotta have the right people running up on him because fighters be boy. Yeah, like a real fighter. (laughs) They be punching, punching. Yeah, nah, they yeah they, they know the proper take. Them fists be knocking your ass like, out. Yeah, <laughs> regular but person we talking about a regular person running yeah. up to the baby. Nah, that's regular person. Good luck. And good luck, bro. Especially that nigga you don't know what you're doing. Give you the beats with a blunt in his hand. <laughs> with that right arm. Yup. No, one more, one more, one more, one more. That dangerous right. One more. And then you know well, he it got gotta, it. Depends, bro. These these stars is little. Like when you nah, think about it, like they really be little. And it really do depend. Mm-hmm. It gotta depend because he been he been coming across the right people. I'll say I that. agree. That's why that's yeah. why I just pray for him and I just hope that he you know the energy around it because the energy is very strange. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like that's it's very, dangerous yeah. energy. Even if he ain't even meaning to, like socially, if you know everybody trying to, because you know how they do, bro. Just like with the fight with his artists, bro. They start putting dropping shit. You know from mm-hmm. before. It's crazy. like come on, bro. That you know they pinpoint you. Just keep it cool, head on the swivel. People come to pay you to go to a show. They don't expect you to go, you know, get to a fight with your artists. If yeah. that's yeah. already with that your, was extremely the random. The stigma is already this nigga is heated, and you know, I just think you need therapy to people, the right people around him, because yeah. mm-hmm. I don't want him to come ar- across the right nigga. That's like, that's yeah. all he niggas. We used to be surrounded by <laughs> like niggas just got time. <laughs> Forces got, I'm here for it. Look, forces, say, forces with the strap. Blackout yeah, Force forces One with, energy. With the strap. Yep. Woo! I got time yeah, bro, today. You can, with the struggle strap. You can get into it, bro. Being in Sunnyside, bro. They, going to the damn gas station. Mm-hmm. Beware. Or Cullen Park going to the gas station. And that's station. just somebody just, just dealing with anger for yeah, no reason. Yeah, just niggas, yep. just niggas used to come in the store just, man. I'm like, God damn it. Hurry up, bro. Why, why are you looking at me like that? Give me 10 on two, bro. Come on. Give me 10. Give me 10, <laughs> Shit, 10 bro. Man. Can, can I borrow 10 cents? Give me the 10 on two, yeah, bro. Yeah. Let me borrow 50. Bro, please give me Let 10. me borrow 50 cent, bro. Give me the goddamn. <laughs> like, hey, young I swear that's how it be. 
Uh huh. Be- like, you don't want your. Uh, I swear. You don't want your slushy. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you got to, it. You know they always got them little ice. I'm trying to get up out of here, man. You don't want your icy, nah, you bro. You yeah. Yeah. Niggas being here I tripping. Yeah, shit. Give it to old boy. Cool. Clearly, he needs to cool down. Oh, yeah, he, he, he needs. Boys something. being here tripping. You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro. Like growing up around that, it's, it's just like a lot of aggressive niggas, and you just. Yep. You got that one nigga. You don't like realize you in it till you gone, but, bro. <laughs> You got that one nigga that be like, the next person I see, I'm stealing off on him. Like, yeah. Like, what is wrong with you? What, what do you gain? They was making jokes at the uh, No Cap Comedy Tour. Shout out to them, brother. It was hilarious <coughs> and shit. Um, mm-hmm. But they was making jokes about, uh, I think Carlos said, like, man, nah, uh, Chico, like, man, y'all ain't tell me about these people out here, bro. He said, I went to the uh, gas station. It was a nigga that was like, um, uh, I think he said he was walking out. He was like, yeah, you just gave me a dollar or something <laughs> like that. He just gave put his hand. I'm like, I was like, yep, that's how the niggas are. Yep, they 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 be on that shit. They be in the. Uh, he said he was in the gas station when he had something, but he ain't had no money. And the dude was like, man, who gonna pay for it? He said, my nephew right here. Oh, <laughs> yep, like, just yep. a random. Yep, just, they they be on that type of time. Shit like, like that, yeah. Yo, he just. I don't even know you. <clears throat> my nephew got me right, nephew. You got it, huh? I, I'm not related to you, <laughs> <laughs> but I got you because you clearly need it. Yeah. <laughs> Get your hand off me, dog. You, you got to be on guard, bro. Growing up, you got to be on guard 24-7. Facts. Facts. I see how it can create a certain mentality. But, bro, we once you get older, bro, you start realizing, like, bro, this is some dumb shit back then. But, um, nah, this was a good part, though, man. I think another like good one. Days. Another good one. Yes, yeah, sir. We will see uh, what will be the topic for next week. Is this every week? It's literally been something. Tune in next time. Tune in next time <laughs> to find out what will be the to topic. Clutch Pod Z. <laughs> but here, you only have to find four Dragon Balls. Oh, wow. <laughs> only four yeah. on the next Man, that's episode. The Wait, <laughs> is the next episode 74? No. No, it's not. Ah. <laughs> Almost. But I can't what wait. What do you want from me? He said, but we can't skip. <laughs> 104. <laughs>